Hello everybody and welcome back to Soma. You may have seen my post earlier that I made where I was like, oh no, Soma's corrupted, everything's ruined. Turns out it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Uh, I was able to salvage the majority of the video. However, the first several minutes were a bit messed up and so I've had to really cut and paste and edit. And even then, still, this is a legitimate epilepsy warning. If you have epilepsy, maybe don't watch the first two minutes. Unless just the first two minutes, which is super lucky, honestly. And I had to edit out a few things, but not a ton, um, but I was able to salvage the rest of it. But the first two minutes or so are legitimately painful to watch in some ways. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't say it like that, but um, it's very framescape -y. You can still see, because we, we finally get to see that video that we've been trying to get to work last time. So that goes through, and then um, I, that's basically it. But it, so it's kind of important to listen to. It's not necessarily something you need to watch. Um, but because it's got like, it, it's got a little bit of a, you know, of a plot point that, you know, that's kind of the rest of the game has been kind of hinging on up to this point with us needing to get that code or whatever. Um, and also some moral implications. There's a lot of the things do in this game. But yeah, sorry for the overly long intro, perhaps. Um, I just wanted to make it clear. So the video is actually just going to kind of like hop into it. It's going to be like me, like hopping right into the simulator, essentially, and watching that video without being like, hey, how's it going? So this is the hey, how's it going part. And um, but yeah, so maybe just listen to it if it gets a little bit irritating. But I can guarantee it's like the first two minutes and 15 seconds. After that, things should be crystal clear and really great. And honestly, a lot happens in this one. It's really a lot, a lot happens in the episode. Like, the whole thing it's not kind of like the last one where I was kind of meandering around trying to figure things out so things happen things get kind of crazy oh, more revelations happen so hopefully you guys enjoy the video and the actual video will start in a second <laughs> Oh, I'm not ready. If I turn around and there's something there, I would scream. Okay, so scan room and Alice. All right, okay. Here we go. That was so bad. Trauma really got without my bastard. Well, that's what you get for the two stories. I guess I had it coming. That's Trauma. He said he needed a new site for Asa. What should I tell him? It's all right. I could talk to him. Wait, didn't Charles tell you to take it easy? Don't worry, I'm not going to tell him. I do feel I'm over. Okay. It's 729 over yeah. 42. 12 or 4 Got it? Yeah, I got it. I'm sorry, too long. Goodbye. What do you mean? No, wait. That's enough. We got what we need. Is that what we are? Simmissions? That was yeah, so... but it shouldn't be different. You're really you. I'm not sure what to do with the data. You decide. I'm just gonna pick it up. <gasps> I can't. Um... Oh, it's just like normal stuff now. I'm shut down, is shut down like kill or shut down like, well, I, I've not given myself the option to, I just want to shut down the simulation, I guess, so he can go to sleep. I don't know. I don't know if shutting down like turns him off, off. He'll still be in the chip. Right? I don't know. Well, he's still in the chip, I guess. I don't know. Simon, we got it. We can get to the Dunbat now. Get back here. Wrong room. Oh my gosh. better there you are just warming up the dun bag for us uh, spray collecting dust for months so it might need a minute okay that's it that's everything let's go ahead and huh that's weird huh. 
What? Never mind. No. What do you need me to do? Head inside the dock. The Omni no. Tool can open the door now. And get into the Dunbat. No. Then plug me in, and I'll take us into the Abyss. Sounds easy enough. Everything's gonna go terribly wrong. Everything's gonna go terribly wrong. Everything is gonna go terribly wrong. Hang on. I don't even know what this, I don't know what that actually does, but, oh my gosh. I don't know. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It can't be that easy. Take me into the dumb bat, like. That door is locked now. Well then, oh my gosh. What? Isn't this not the Dunbat door? Um. Oh, am I just gonna like. Gosh, get off of me! I. I don't know how to get in unless I break this window, which it doesn't look like I can. Okay, there's something over there. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna scream. Oh my gosh. Can I close the door behind me? That would be nice. any buttons without knowing what I'm doing. Rotating things is difficult in... With a controller, unfortunately. Oh, what's this? Oh, dang. A vent? Oh, dang. What am I supposed to do in here? doors are closed to me now and none of these buttons are working um. see sometimes I make progress and then I'm like wait what am I supposed to do what am I supposed to do what am I supposed to do oh what's up there I mean, that's the dumb bat, but how do I pull it down? Give me the dumb bat. I'm gonna scream. I need to climb up to something. That's like lock lock. I can't I can't get into that. Eh. What? It's like trying to tell me I can climb. Uh. Once more I feel obligated to look up a walkthrough because I don't know what buttons to push make anything happen. Oh, I need to plug it in? Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh. Oh, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Okay. Wait, okay, turn it on. Turn it on. Turn it on. Can we... No? Oh, do I press this button? Okay, we're ready. I can push it. I don't think I can quite reach it either. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. Ow, now I've trapped myself. A fall from that high wouldn't hurt you that bad. You were ready for it. Okay, I need to move it though a little bit. Okay. Can we please just? Apparently, you have to get it perfect. feel somewhat safe in here and I probably shouldn't. <laughs> I don't think there's any way for me to like get across this so I have to drop down? Maybe? Uh, game pros. At least I, my vision's a little better. Okay. Shh, we are so loud. Trying to stand up there. Plan B. Thanks, Gay. That shame man a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm unhappy. Is it gonna be below me? I can see under below me. a bit weird, apparently. I 
don't think she's malicious, but maybe just not really thinking about it. And what is up with all that? She's like never properly explained anything to me. Vision's still a little weird, actually. This totally feels like alien isolation. Is my vision is my vision weird or is the game weird? I'm like, I don't know. Uh no, it's uh what it's supposed to be, I think. Okay, anyway. I feel like I can hear somewhat organic sounds and I don't like it. Oh, okay, hey. Give me help. Uh. It's got blood on it! Like, I think before I even put my hand in there, it wouldn't have blood on me. I don't have any flesh and blood. I'm just a robot. Catherine, what the frick? Decided to finalize the artwork, the scans we have. I'm sorry for all of you wanted to go, but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before it was on hold. It's been two months since I've added a scan. I don't see how I'll ever be able to win back the support you all showed me started the project. I'm sorry, I never meant for anyone to take your lives. It was never my intention to fool anyone. I just wanted to save something. Seal art capsule, ask permission from a 4Q, brief, take shuttle, pick up power suits, ride the climber. So she was gonna go launch it. It's like right on top of us. Oh no, no, Ark is over there. Wait, it's a Tau, that's right, it's a Tau. So we're at Theta and we need to get from Omicron to Tau, which is what we're gonna do with the freaking dung bat beetle. But uh, apparently, Arc attitude survey to ga gauge depth opinion. Please fill out this short survey. We decided that the Arc project would become Pathos 2's last official commitment. The staff has been urged to carry on with the duties by Earth's crash of conditions. I think the Earth Arc project is a log logical step towards saving mankind and that we should spend as much time and resources as needed to complete it. Mm. Sure. To embark, every passenger needs to be flushed with electromagnetism uh, magnetism, using a pilot seat. These scanning sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches, sometimes lasting for three days. I think temporary physical discomfort, no matter how severe, is a small price to pay to save mankind. Uh. Arc is built to fit a Ranger MK probe, meaning it could be shot into space with the Omega space gun, technically survived for thousands of years, living off light from the sun and distant stars. Ark should leave Earth behind and launch into space. Yeah? Digitiza digitalization of humanity is an opportunity to make a quantum leap in our own evolution. The people inside the Ark will, out of necessity, be generated from existing genetic code, but could be altered to allow for cosmetic changes, e ease aging, and even prevent death. I mean, what do you mean? Like, I think we are at risk of losing our humanity if we were to rid ourselves of disease and our mortality. Interesting. I mean, the human experience is shaped by death and like decay in a lot of ways. You could you could argue. Um, and I know that some philosophers have argued that, but you would become something else if you were immortal. Like you would not necessarily be human anymore. Maybe. There are only 58 people left alive to be stored inside the Ark. A way to diversify and expand the population would be to introduce artificial intelligences that would in every way appear to be human with childlike and naive sensibilities. As we continue to explore the nature of intelligence, we may find a way to make them smarter in the future. No! That's just going bad. This is how your colleagues voted. Uh, Ark approval. Everybody, well, lots of people agreed. Artificial evolution... So most people agreed with me, pain for gain. 
Okay. Oh, inferior companions. That one, a lot of people were. I mean, they were split. They were split essentially 50 50 with like between the agrees and disagrees. I feel like the strongly agree, agree, disagree, strongly disagree was kind of a weird way to like do all that. Like to, to do that, conduct that survey. I kind of want to figure out this room before things go haywire, which I feel like is going to happen once I plug Catherine in. I thought that voice was a woman at first. Um, oh, dang. Oh, that's the Ark. Okay, this is where the Ark was, like, put together. Um, but then it sounded like a man. Potentially, you know? We are in the danger zone. I don't like being here. Not teeny tiny, teeny tiny bit. What the frick, Catherine? Huh? Wait, this isn't... Oh, no! Wow got to the Dunbat before we did, am I right? That's well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. Oh, we're so There's optimistic. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber in Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Supposedly. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Why are yeah. we so optimistic? Okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the Abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Wait, what? what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe oh we can figure gosh. out how to get on the Ark. Please don't. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? Oh my gosh, lady. Notes. Numbers and letters. I don't know. I don't know. Prep arc with signal transmitter. Power packs. Wow, that's so cool. It's the whole gang. A crew photo? Really? Who are you saving this for? The world was dead. Thanks, Simon. Yeah. I being an asshole wasn't invented until the 22nd century. Now I know better. It was just fun for them to have. Don't be jerk. Power suit, proper usage. Put on the neoprene undersuit, body harness. Uh, starting with the legs, wrap yourself up, tap the secure button, the suit will then, I don't know if I need to like do this later or what, the suit will then start to equalize pressure, the suit doesn't seal itself, flex the shock absorbers and try again. Very heavy, the suit will compensate, you'll be stronger than you think you are, don't hold your breath, don't stay out too long, don't dive too deep, don't dive with malfunctioning equipment, okay. That's Phi, alright. Quick stop at Omicron, then Tau, then Phi. Let's do it. Check on Tau. Anyone alive? <laughs> okay. So that's down into the abyss. So this is like the edge. So right now we're on Theta. I'm sorry, I'm like pointing and it probably doesn't mean anything to you guys. But like, yeah. Right now we're at Theta on the top. And then we go to Omicron, which has the elevator because it's on the edge of the abyss. And then we go down into the abyss. And then we which says todd right there maybe i don't know maybe that's supposed to be something else and then we go to phi okay well Let's see did you yeah okay wait i'm just i'm, I'm gonna just kind of click through this so that way yeah she can i don't know if she sees it if i see it or what but Where's this prototype? Is that the way out? That's another, that's another shuttle. Or another, um... 
my gosh, it scared the crap out of me. Oh, and I can't, I can't get out this way. Okay, that's okay. All right, all right. What's Let's this see. thing? That's just a compound examiner. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity in payload frameworks. Of course. That means Could you get inside too. it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the Ark. What? I'll give it a try. What? You want me to go in there? Also, um, I don't see a prototype Ark. Unless it's one of those things. I don't, I don't, I don't think I remember what it is. Bit of a tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? Um. Oh. It's a good thing I'm not flesh and bone, am I right? Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Yeah. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's okay. meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imogen? Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. The standard what? cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 hold on, back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? There's flesh in well, here? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway, the Cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Oh. Yeah, I'm half a dead person. Oh yes, my gosh. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. I took her body! Okay, I thought I was just At least like... we know how to get on the arm. Sorry. I, thought I... I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. I thought I was just like a bunch of like electromagnetic dilly wops. I, don't, I thought I was just a bunch of like electrical impulses like flowing through the suit. I didn't realize that like there was like a dead person in here that I took her body and that like my my chip's been like forced into her skull. Like, oh my gosh. What? No device connected where? Oh, uh, here's the arc thing. Okay, um, so I just need to plug it in again. Maybe. Gimme, give gimme. Give um. Oh. Um. That's disgusting. That's terrible. I thought I, I thought I was just a suit. I did not think there was like person in here oh my gosh i stole her body and chun is so like she's like oh yeah she was nice to me it's like aren't you upset at all that i'm walking around and like her decaying body is she still in here like like some of those other people who are like dead but not quite like the, like not like the robot people but like the people people that have been like plugged into like machines like oh my gosh Um, can I plug you in? Gimme, I know, I saw it for a second. Eh, eh. Hmm, okay. I can't pick it up. It's too big, too big. How do I move it? Okay, this this needs to go. Go away. You're in the way. Over there. Start an arc simulation. I want to see how it works. Oh, hey. Look at this. There we go. 
memory cor corrupted. Simulation reconfiguration necessary. Please reduce memory footprint. What? You want me to take away stuff? That doesn't seem good at all. And it, uh, what? Uh, wow, and it's over by a lot. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm gonna let this be a problem for another time, honestly. I'm a monster. It's fine. I'm a literal zombie. I'm not just a robot. I'm a robot zombie. This is terrible. And I have to, like, erase. Like, she's totally fine with me, like, erasing arcs. Okay, I guess this is. This is supposed to be just a. Just, uh, a prototype. Oh, okay, that makes me feel a little better. Because I'm like, what if I just start like, erasing stuff and people in the arc are like, ah, as like the atmosphere is like taken away or like the trees, you know? But this is just a simulation. Even so, I still feel like I'm a little scared. Like, that, what if there are actually people in here that didn't get sent on? So, anyway, I'm going to leave that one here. So, thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one.